Nope. War. <laughs> My duke, the rotten swine in Spain declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, after experiencing extreme, extreme pain as Granada last time, I'm happy to say that we can forget about all that because this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Guarani. Guarani is a native nation located in South America. And honestly, I'm happy to be back in South America, man. We haven't been here for a while. You know, I actually started to miss these native boys and you guys seem to actually enjoy the native playthroughs a lot we start off with this native council right here we don't know our ruler and obviously you guys know the drill by now we need to work our way up the government reforms reform into a horde then maybe into a monarchy so we can get institutions and stuff like that guarani ideas we got plus 10 percent tax and minus 10 percent idea discount as starters not bad at all stability cost is kind of lame production efficiency pretty good prestige tolerance of heathens national manpower plus 15 percent along with fort defense plus 15 and infantry combat plus 10 so uh, our starting ideas won't really help out our army but our later ones just by the time the colonists arrive will help us out quite a lot but what do we do as guarani well why not do the classic baby you guys love it and i love it too honestly sure the start is slow but this time as guarani we're once again gonna have to fend off the colonists will we be successful i don't know but in the meantime instead of moving up to brazil and chilling there like we did last time with charua instead we're gonna be moving over and fighting all of the incans and i'll attempt to conquer all of these guys as well so we can get rich from their gold and then fight the colonists as well so that's the plan fight the incans then fight the colonists it's probably gonna be portugal or castile or most likely both since they ally each other and yeah i'm once again gonna get ready for extreme amounts of pain and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and boys consider subscribing let's get to 100k subs maybe with your help we can do it let's jump in as guarani all right all right here we are as guarani obviously the first 50 ish years of the game are gonna be quite these guys they're not ahead of us in tech but we can't really conquer their land either since we can only have one province remember so for about the first uh 50 to 60 years we're gonna have to go down these reforms you guys already know become a horde become a monarchy and uh then we can death for institutions and stuff like that in the meantime we're gonna move around in this area right here not straying too far maybe we're gonna fight these guys once or twice and then we're gonna push into the incans so uh yeah let me get started by not doing any estate stuff because obviously we don't have any estates we start off with this one four two guy kind of meh and uh yeah speed five and uh no one pausing baby you know what it is oh uh, we have already built a force limit i'm actually not gonna take this mission we're, we're literally not gonna fight anyone bro I'll, I'll just save it for later you know and yeah man you guys already know we need to save up money build these buildings that give us monthly reform progress growth the advisor discount is one is good too so we'll take the ceremonial fire pit the longhouse as well and then uh i don't know what the third building is gonna be and these guys over here actually can spawn institutions i don't know if that's meant to be like that or it would not but yeah yeah, they just, they just don't. It's times like this, I wish there was a uh, speed 10 or something. And it's finally time for our first building, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we're going to be building the Longhouse. Yes, more monthly reform progress growth. 20 devastation. It's time to move for the first time. Yes. I mean, it's not like we can do anything else with Diplo points. Let's move again. Uh, I'm going towards these guys to fight them like once or twice. We have enough reform progress. Let's take oral tradition for even more monthly reform progress growth. All right, all right. I've moved next to Charua and rivaled them as well. Got another army regiment. Let's go ahead and take this mission right there. And let's go ahead and declare on these boys for the uh, tribal border feud exhilarating gameplay i know <laughs> it'll get better though hey we can actually build that uh what's it ceremonial fire pit yeah even more monthly reform progress growth and now we can uh do some advisors as well and i have also beaten these fools into submission so let's go ahead and uh take and that's in uh you know what you call those I i'm doing air quotes right now yeah so let's take their land and their money sweet this is us right now let's take a look at the great powers let's see what's going on in the world nothing out of the ordinary let's see castile here Ooh, i guess they already do have aragon look at how much uh subject depth they have what about uh france england everything is good over here poland they got lithuania too already none of them have the renaissance yet but it must have spawned right let's go ahead and check yep meanwhile charu has gotten some more land they got like one two three four five provinces awesome when we fight them next time those are gonna become ours let's go ahead and move to Rio Grande do Sul. 
Oh, there's more missions down here. Oh, dominate trade. I knew that. No, these guys have become strong yet, which is great. Uh, in fact, I don't think the map for these guys has changed at all. What are these relations? We can reform once again. Let's go with uh, seasonal travel for cheaper migration and travel dev growth. If we take this, we can't actually become a monarchy or a horde, even though we can settle these provinces. So uh, yeah, let's go for seasonal travel. Finally, we can get another building going and I'm going to go for this uh, force limit one so we can fight uh, these guys because they've obviously already built it. Well, they had more soldiers, but I don't know. I guess they decreased it. I don't know. All right, what, what's this? This is my province, right? I got the ceremonial fire pit and the longhouse, and this is the button to destroy them, right? But when I click on Sharua's province right here, can I... Oh, okay. I thought I could destroy their stuff. Why is that X there? All right, I've built up my army to 10, and let's go ahead and declare on Chirua. Well, we'll try to take as much as we can from this. Uh, they're allied to Mapuche down here, but it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'll just go piece these guys out and then go back up north. Travel border feud again. And this was done, not difficult at all. Uh, what I'm wondering is, why can I only take these two? I guess that's just uh, what we're going to have to accept here, boys. But there we go. We've uh, grown by two provinces. This is us now. Let me move because this, uh, you know, devastation is horrible. Let's go to Uruguay. Hey, tier four got reform time. Let's go with the uh, unrest one, I guess. All right, there we go. We just need 250 more points and we'll be able to become a horde. And that'll happen October 1st, 1506. Unless, of course, I get some events which might push it back or uh, bring it down. Well, it seems that the boys are already here. Uh, we got Castilian CR, everyone. Three provinces, too. Uh, Portugal's still not here, surprisingly. What's going on there? Hmm. And yeah, now that we basically have all of this, it's time to start pushing into some of these provinces right here, uh, a lot of which can spawn gold. So uh, hopefully we can rack up a few more gold mines, aside from the ones that we're going to conquer from uh, from the Incans. Uh, okay, these Incan guys just expanded into, you know, Cheruan uncolonized provinces. I, I didn't think they could do that, but apparently they can. Pain. Castile have allied France and Portugal, and they have Aragon and Naples. This is not going to be easy. Now, if I could get three royal marriages, we could uh, get 50 reform progress, but unfortunately, my government can't do royal marriages. <laughs> Why would they go here? I swear the AI wants to mess with me, man. A Castilian colony just formed, Castilian Brazil, and we got about 10 more years until we can reform. December 1st, 1510. Who's this? Oh, I thought it was Norway. <laughs> Castilian Brazil is losing to these guys. Nice. Why? Why? Why have they landed in Rio de la Plata, man? They're already here. They're here too. Now they're... I told you guys they want to mess with me man this is like my best province too and by the time i can reform they're probably gonna get like two or three more honestly you know at least the incan guys aren't ahead of me in miltech so i'll be able to easily fight them once we you know fully reform look at them they're pushing inland man i mean this is actually not bad once they get five <laughs> look they got a third one once they get five you know castilian like argentina or banda oriental whatever will form and we'll be able to easily fight them but uh just four more years baby we can do it come on Let's get it. Look, they got all four of their colonists here, man. All four of them. Burgundian succession is happening right now. Uh, I'm guessing Austria got it, but France contested it because look at this. Yeah, they got to be helping France. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. They, they're, they're doing it on purpose, man. They're doing it on purpose. <laughs> Finally, final gov reform time. Let's become a horde. The planes call to us. Ah, all right. You guys are in for a world of pain now. Now we can take some more reforms too. Let's go for Martial Society, the horde version of Strength and Noble Privileges. Boom, just like that. There we go. Let's go for uh, Lip Service right here for Land Maintenance. Let's go for uh, Centralized Power for the CCR. And we can actually become a monarchy right away just like this. Should we do that? I think so because we're going to be too poor as a horde. And uh, there we go. We can even become a Mandala system or an Eastern Plutocracy, a merchant tribal nation, everyone. But I'm going to go for my favorite tier one reform, Autocracy. And soon we're going to be strengthening noble privileges. All right. Force limits now 20. Uh, we're same Miltech with these guys, and I'm not even going to spawn institutions, boys, because we're going to get feudalism, renaissance, and colonialism from these provinces right here that Castile owns. Now, they've colonized this and this and this too, and that too, so as soon as this province right here is done, they're going to get a colonial nation, and we're going to be able to fight them and conquer all the provinces with all these institutions. In the meantime, though, I think I will be fighting the Incan guys because, well, I can have a force limit of 20. We're the same Miltech, and uh, these guys, honestly, they're pretty weak, and they're only allied to each other. 
together. So uh, let's continue spying on them and then we'll pounce on the Incans and then on uh, Argentina or whatever colony forms. I'm not going to be using these points to tech up or anything. We'll wait for the institutions. Of course, now we got a state stuff as well. So let's summon the diet. Boom. Uh, let's see right there. Santiago del Estero. Sure, I'll own it. Let's take land of commerce, patronage of the arts, commercial advisory board and indebted to the merchant guilds. Why are the burgers first? I'll never know. Let's go for religious state and clerical advisory and uh, no need for religious diplomats, but maybe we can go with expansionist zealotry since we'll be fighting uh, Inti and Catholic guys. And let's give primacy increased and aristocratic right there. Boom, just like that. Subtitles, seize land. You know what it is. All right, it actually seems I already got claims on these guys somehow. Uh, I just claimed this, but I don't know how I got claims on these two. Either way, let's not get bogged down and let's declare on Kelka. I'm not even going to try and say it, actually. So let's declare on them. Can we co-belligerate Charka? Nah, these guys will come in. So uh, yeah, let's declare for uh, Santiago del Estero. Finally, the game can begin. There we go, Castilian La Plata formed. I'll be pouncing on these guys uh, as soon as I can. Oh, actually, we need to spy on them, so uh, yeah. All right, these guys are done. Easy as that. Nice. All right, war with those guys is done. Castilian La Plata has formed. I got three claims on them. If we're fast enough here, Castile shouldn't be able to enforce peace on us. So we got to go pounce on these guys right away. Stack wipe them over here or whatever. I don't think we can, though, but we'll try. Siege them down quick so we can piece them out right away. These colonial nations are always super weak at the start, so this won't be a big deal at all. And Castile is fighting some other war, too, with England. Yeah, there's no way these guys enforce peace on us. This is the perfect time to declare. So let's get it. And by the way, guys, this won't be a win for the fighting a colonial nation. We need to declare directly on Castile for it to be a win. Funnily enough, this is their provinces too? Why would that be Castilian La Plata? All right, this war is pretty much done. Castile obviously didn't enforce peace. I expected this. Uh, so let's go ahead and take, well, everything that we can. Can we take this up here? Hmm, no, that sucks. We won't be able to wipe them out, which may make Castile do a reconquest on me. But let's get a really long truce with them here. I'll get war reps, humiliate them, all their money, maybe something else too. I guess we can't, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much that, man. Wait, what's this? Fine, I'll take that too. There we go. As long as truce as possible. All right, nice. Now we got uh, pretty much everything. We got feudalism. We can embrace it. We got renaissance. We can embrace it. We got colonialism. We can embrace it. Uh, do we have big loans? Eh, not really. Let's take burger loans, which I've already done. What? Well, there we go. Now we can take new burger loans. Where is it? Indebted to the merchant guilds. Let's embrace feudalism. And uh, let me take a regular loan. And let's embrace the Renaissance. Can we embrace colonialism too? Uh, we can. I am actually going to take out loans for that. This is a lot of money that we're losing, but it's no big deal because now we can do this, that, that, that. There we go. Let's take up the seven. Perfect. Should we convert to Christianity? Catholic is stronger than animist, I guess. Uh, no. I don't want to lose stab. <laughs> let's remain true to the faith of our ancestors. Thank you for this pop-up. But yeah, now we can take our first idea group. Uh, let me focus on mill as well, and I'm going to open up with quantity here. Oop, not quality, quantity. There we go. I just took a mission to give me reform progress. Let's take drink the noble privileges. Now, earlier, I did make these guys and their alliance with Cusco. So as soon as our truce is up, we'll fight Charka right here and uh, acquire three gold mines. And that's when we'll really start snowballing. Not that we're not strong now. And actually, financial situation is not bad at all, man. Now that we've uh, cored up some stuff, we're actually making money. And, uh... I'm just going to do this and that, and we can go off pay some more loans. All right, all right, our truce with Charka is up. Let's go get three gold mines. You know what it is. All right, we're with uh, Charka and Charua is pretty much done. And what we're going to do is basically full annex both of these guys. Take all of Charka and all of Charua's tribal land that they own. Boom. I like that. Three gold mines. Let's start swimming in money, boys. In the meantime, Castile has formed... Uh, Spain. Hello, Ming. Oh, I'm just gonna have to fight the number one great power. No big deal. <laughs> it's uh, it's simple. It's easy. <laughs> uh, next time, dude. Next time we're playing natives, I'm just gonna go colonial and try and, uh, I don't know, colonize Ming. Might be easier than fighting Spain. And by the way, we can see this right here because we became a horde. <laughs> All right, everything is cored up here and I've stated these two. I've dubbed this province up to 10 production already and I'm working on pushing these up to 10 production as well. We're already making a bunch of money from gold, so we're good on that front. Uh, let's state some more stuff up, lower autonomy, chill a bit, and continue conquering the Incans. Spying on Spanish La Plata again, once our truce with them is up, we should be able to pounce on them again. This is what they own right now. Uh, what's this? Spanish anti suyu I'm guessing this will become Peru, right? I'm using the gold money to build uh, buildings. I'm gonna go ahead and hit these cola guys here, then maybe we can continue up into the Incans and get another gold mine or something. Oh, and by the way, I already got all three of these up to- oh wait, I didn't get this one to 10. Alright, well, I got two of them to 10. 
And I guess these Cola guys are already done, even though I haven't sieged down their ally. I just can't get there. No one will give me access. So uh, this is what we're going to take, man. That's that. Now, I am going to admit we are lagging a bit behind in uh, admin and uh, diplotech, but at least I think I'm keeping up in mill, man. Spain is 11, I'm 9. That's not too big of a difference, man. Uh, Spanish La Plata is 9 as well, so we're doing good on uh, balancing between tech and uh, ideas. But yeah, now I'm actually going to chill for a bit because I do want to get uh, admin tech 7 so we can get another idea group going. So uh, chilling until then, maybe I'll fight Cusco We'll see. And by the way, I'm going to keep all of these forts that I conquer from the Incans just so they can help me out versus Spain, perhaps. All right, well, we got Spanish Peru forming now as well. All right, Spanish La Plata and Spanish Peru. No Spain directly near me, I don't think. Uh, I don't know where they're colonizing. Let's take uh, centralized bureaucracy. We're actually over GovCap. I totally didn't notice this. <laughs> Our religious unity is horrible, dog. <laughs> Let's convert something. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, hold up. Our chancellor reports war is coming. My duke, the rumor is spreading that Spain is preparing to declare war upon us. We must rush to prepare our defenses. The babbling buffoon personality of Enrique V here is likely why we learned of this. Okay, what can I do here? Uh, La Plata and Peru are gonna come in, right? Spain has a 13k stack right here. I'm uh, Miltech 10. These guys are 11. These guys are 9. Spain is 11. Okay, we're not too far off. It is still gonna offer them an advantage. I'm good on money. I can go a bit over force limit. Manpower is meh. What do I do here? Is it possible for me to find some allies? All right, uh, let's see if this deters them, man. Ah, I still got burger loans. Uh, let's take regular loans then. I'm gonna get, let's see, the dependent army. And I'm actually gonna hit more loans, man. This is gonna cost us so much money and the grand company and the free company. Let's see if they still declare. I don't know. Please don't declare. <laughs> They're not declaring, but oh my god, can we not sustain this? We're losing 100 ducats a month. I think I'm gonna go until February, maybe, and then dismantle one of these. And then a few more months, dismantle another. Ah, what am I doing here? Am I just biding time, man? Nope. War. <laughs> My duke, the rotten swine in Spain declare war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite reconquest, just as I said earlier, as their CB. Pain? We're way over first limit, man. Even if we win this, it's gonna be so hard uh, with money and stuff. Man, I've been focusing up in Peru. Meanwhile, over here, I'm dying, dog. Ah, uh, well, can we take another idea group? What would help here? And nothing would really help, man. Damn. Ah, uh, I don't know. Trade. At least I can bomb forts. I did just bomb these two so we can get them faster. Um, yeah. Nah, they're just swarming me, man. Ah. Uh... I didn't think this was gonna go this way, but hey, that's the beauty of A to Z, I guess, you know, you- <laughs> What beauty, man. I can't have two favors in a row. Pain. I guess this is revenge for me beating their ass last time as Granada, and, you know, last time we died to France, sorta, we actually died to our- Well, alrighty then. Bankruptcy looming, armies losing, what else is gonna happen, man? They've brought over so many troops, dude. And look, man, they probably got about, a, I don't know, 150,000 units. We got a Spain and Naples in this war and the three colonies. They're not that strong, man. If only I had a little more time. Well, my main army got wiped. I got only the two uh, Merc companies left. And I'm about to go bankrupt in... now? Well, next month, I guess. Our governor reports black news indeed. My duke, our people are losing confidence in your government, leading to a stability drop. Some superstitious fools even suggest... Oh, wait, this is a stab one. <laughs> we are bankrupt. Is this divine punishment? Ugh, I think it is. <laughs> wait, no, that means our merc companies disappear too, right? Yeah, they're gone. I can't even reduce war exhaustion. I can't do anything. Ugh. Oh, Spain. Is this really what a number one great power does? Get involved with some, I don't know, tribesmen in South America? Come on, go do Ottoman stuff, man. Go fight the Mamluks, which apparently they haven't done either. So where have they expanded? But you know what, boys? I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. Let's uh, do our final stand in this little mountain right here. Uh, there we go. Or not, they just stepped on it. Alrighty then. Well, I've been 100 percent it. I'll get pieced out against my will any day now. Ah. I am experiencing extremely large amounts of pain in my chest and in my head too. Uh, this is what I lost, man. Uh, they didn't take anything down here. They did declare for Banda Oriental. They took this over here, some provinces right here. They actually left me with two of my gold mines, even though they're disconnected. We'll have to walk around, but uh, this has been a major L. But you know what Big Sean said? Last night I took an L, uh, and today I took an L apparently once again. <laughs> 
Uh, of course, I'm talking about Granada and uh, and now Guarani as well. But uh, yeah, there you go, man. We start off as Guarani and like one of these provinces over here, Santa Fe, maybe something like that. Maybe we were further up north. Either way, we spent uh, 60 very, very long years trying to get all our government reforms so we could become a horde and then a monarchy, which we actually did. And then we started off fighting these guys over here, finding the Incans, took a bunch of provinces from them, beat up like three or four nations for sure. We even acquired three gold mines, bumped them all up to 10. So you're welcome, uh, Spanish Peru. And of course, we did fight Spanish La Plata as soon as they formed, which enabled us to take Renaissance, colonialism, and feudalism without actually spawning those institutions. And like I said, man, because we didn't completely wipe out Spanish La Plata, because they had like two provinces up here, Spain could reconquer their course for them. And unfortunately, that is exactly what happened, man. Spain declared on us. We were pretty strong. Not strong enough, though. I thought we could at least fight all of these guys before we could get directly involved with Spain. But but uh, yeah, man, they declared on us, went way over force limit. We were losing 100 ducats a month and uh, we took a major L. Can we bounce back from this? I don't think so, man. By the time our truce with these guys expires, they're going to want to declare again. Spanish La Plata still has cores on me. So uh, Spain is just going to do the same thing over again. And uh, I don't think there's winning this one, boys. Maybe we could push up into these guys, man. But still, I think anything will do will be futile but yeah man a pretty fun campaign aside from the first six years and not that they were boring it's just a lot of waiting around and uh i just thought this would have uh went differently boys but apparently it didn't apparently we had to take two l's in a row something we haven't done for uh quite a few months but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm sad to say that this campaign as guarani in a to z has been a failure and that has been guarani in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week and i think it's the final nation in season g until we come back with goatland once the new update drops because goatland will exist in 1444 if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the red hawk live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more challenges like this or more you for videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video